Hey folks, this is David Watts. I'm back with a Luminar video. It's been a long time, but we have a brand new release of Luminar 3.1 and with it, the new AI uh, 2.0. And so I thought, why don't we take a look and just see, and we'll learn together. I have not run this at all. I've just set up a simple test. Let me flip over. Uh, because you, you, you'll see I have two windows open, two applications open. The older Luminar 2018, which does go back a few versions, but it, of course, used the Accent Filter 1.0. And then we'll flip over to Luminar 3. Uh, here's uh, Luminar uh, 3.1, and it has the new Accent AI Filter 2.0. So what I've done... I've taken five uh, portraits from my collection, actually six, I can't quite count. Anyway, taken six that I thought represented a variety of different lighting conditions. And we'll look at both of them, uh, and we'll, we'll look at each of them in both applications using Accent AI Filter 2.0 uh, versus 1.0. And that's really the only purpose of this video. We're not doing other stuff. We're not using any of the other filters. We just want to make a simple comparison between 2.0 and um, 1.0 in terms of the Accent AI filter. So let's dive in together. I haven't looked a bit at this. Supposedly it's much more sort of people aware and does a better job with uh, facial tones, skin tones, that sort of thing. So we'll test this a couple of different ways. One, we'll, one way we'll test it is just with a, uh, just sort of clicking right in the middle of the uh, range on both the 2.0 and the 1.0. We'll flip back and forth and just look at the differences. In other cases, we may try to optimize it and see what we can glean. So here's our first uh, sample image. Again, Luminar 3.1, Accent AI Filter 2.0. These are straight out of the camera JPEGs from a Fuji uh, X-H1. Most of them, I think, yes, were my Fuji X-H1. Uh, straight JPEGs, I typically use the Film Simulation uh, Pro Negative Standard. I think that gives me a fair amount of latitude. I find it a little easier than uh, dealing with the big RAW files and usually it gets me exactly what I want. So here we go. Let's try this one, just a simple click right to the middle and see if we uh, notice any uh, substantial difference. Certainly some uh, lightning in the hair. Uh, the background has uh, changed maybe a little more contrast, a little more brightness. But I'd say the, uh, the facial tones look pretty good. Let's flip over to 1.0 and just take a look. And we'll do the same uh, with this Accent AI filter. Just click it sort of right in the middle. And we'll give it just a moment to process. Okay, so here's 1.0. And we'll flip over to 2.0. We'll go back and forth just a bit. A little bit of variation in the uh, sizing due to the, the sidebar here. In fact, let's see if we can close that. And we might make it, I uh, eh, can't get that closed right now. Um, let's see here. But really, a little more redness here. I think we picked up in 1.0. And the skin tones, I think, do look a little more natural and realistic uh, in 2.0. All right. Let's try another example. We'll shift here in 2018. And um, let's see here. Sorry, I'm in the wrong screen. Let's shift to um, another one. This uh, taking sort of street portrait work in New York City. And we'll bring this one up. Fairly challenging lighting conditions. Again, uh, with Accent 2.0, we haven't adjusted anything yet. And the same for uh, the Accent 1.0 version. This time we'll start with 1.0. Let's just go about halfway and see what that gets us. A lot of lightening of the, really the entire scene. Let's flip back and forth just a bit. You can see the difference. This is Accent AI Filter 1.0. And now let's go to 28, uh, excuse me, yeah, uh, Luminar 3.1. We'll get it confused here pretty quickly. Luminar 3.1 with Accent 2.0. And we'll, again, we'll go about halfway and we'll uh, see the comparison. I think it does a better job of preserving a natural looking uh, skin tone, uh, facial tone. Uh, we're just flipping back and forth between the original version and the accent filter, AI filter 2.0, back and forth. Now let's flip back and forth between the 3.1 version we're looking at now. 
uh, with the Accent AI Filter 2.0 and the older 1.0 Accent AI Filter. All right, so there's the older 1.0 and the 2.0. I can't say that I really see a lot of difference. Um, maybe you'll notice here in the cheeks, uh, maybe a little more pinkish color. And let's observe that when we look at the Accent AI Filter 2.0. And uh, perhaps a little more realistic there. Again, hard to, hard to call it out exactly, but I think it is subtle, but uh, probably 2.0 is doing a little better job uh, with those skin tones. Here's another challenging uh, sort of image. We'll pull it up on this screen and we'll also pull it up in the 2018 version. Again, uh, both versions, same image. So we'll start with uh, Luminar 2018, again the original Accent AI filter. And we'll just go about halfway with it. I think we'll see probably a substantial difference this time. And we'll give it just a moment to do its work. Again, this is the 2.0 AI filter. Before, after, before, after. Now we'll go to the older version and before, after. You can definitely see how this did not do us any favors on the facial skin tones, right? Uh, the before, more subdued, and then it really blew it out. Uh, it did not help us at all. So if we now compare between the two filters uh, completely. So I think much more realistic looking here with the new filter, the Accent AI filter, versus the old filter. So definitely doing a better job on the face in that uh, example. Here's yet another, and again, these haven't been retouched at all. Uh, they're very straightforward, no skin smoothing or anything of that sort. And let me get the right file. All right, so again, the same image. And this time, let's, uh, we'll go halfway, and we'll give it just a moment to do its thing. And we'll see uh, before and after. So I think it really did a nice job of keeping the, the facial tones uh, unchanged and natural looking while, here's the before image, while really bringing up the background just a bit, adding some contrast, a little bit of color in the background. Now we'll see how the older version does. And again, we'll go up about ha halfway. And yes, you can start to really see it in these kind of images. So here was the before and the after. And the Accent AF AI filter really added some undesirable uh, red or pink sort of tones to the skin color, uh, making it uh, somewhat unrealistic and, and not attractive. Now we'll flip between the two images just so you can see them better. Here's the Accent 2.0 version. The uh, background improved quite a bit, kept the skin features, um, I think, quite reasonable. The older version, it brought up the background, but really didn't help us on the, the facial features. All right, so excellent test, I think. Okay, two more images. Again, just wanted to show you these six different images for your purposes. Not really my job to say exactly which one's best, but I'll give you my impression, and you decide for yourself. But I thought this might help you a little bit as you evaluate uh, the new AI filter. Okay, uh, we need to get back to 2018, and we'll switch over to this image as well. It will be this one right here. Okay, so let's start this time with the 1.0. And again, uh, we'll go about halfway, and you see it did bring up that sort of red color in the skin and probably didn't uh, handle it quite as nice as we'd like. Now to the new version. And we'll do the same, or roughly the same, and I think we'll see, yeah, it really tends to leave the face um, uh, in, in much better shape, I think, as opposed to the old version, which changes the skin tones quite a bit. Um, yeah, I think it's nice. I like, uh, I think I like the Accent uh, 2.0 filter. One more example. And again, looking for a variety of lighting conditions and circumstances just to show you what might be possible in your own work. And we'll bring up this final image. And this time we will start in Luminar 3, uh, 3.1. We'll go up about halfway. And again, we'll see a before and after. Yep, definitely does a nice job, I think. Uh, with the, uh, the, the awareness of uh, the people awareness or the face awareness. 
And in fact, we may come back to this image in just a second, but let's go to the original and we'll do the same sort of test. Boost it about halfway. Yeah, definitely more pinkish. It starts changing those skin tones in a way that's not probably desirable for us. So now let's go back to Luminar 3.1. Let's just play with it a bit more and see what all we can do with it. So if we take it all the way up, which often is not uh, suitable, but let's just try to assess what it's doing. So it certainly brings up the background. It does change some of those tones in the background. It may add some clarity here in these bricks that are in the foreground that are more uh, in focus. And certainly I think as we push it more, we do get some change of, of tone. But if we're more moderate with it, and typically I would be probably in this halfway or less kind of area. I think we get some pleasing results. Okay, so anyway, that's the quick video. Just wanted to show you some, some examples, uh, six uh, portrait examples. This was literally the first time I tried it. I decided I would record it live with my live impressions. Hope it might help you a little bit to at least see some of the differences and uh, where you can go with that. More experimenting to come, I'm sure, and we'll always enjoy seeing new versions from Luminar and playing around uh, with new releases. So thanks a lot. Have a great day and we'll, uh, we'll do some more videos as time permits. Thanks.